Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and this is the season finale of the Real Life My Player series. Also, if you guys can smash over 2,000 likes, we will have another video up later on today, so that would be much appreciated. It's a really fun video with my cousin. But boys, this episode is a long one, and it is probably the most epic season finale I ever had. Uh, in which I did not win the title because obviously Mainz is not able to win the title but it was epic like ah I just don't want to tell you yet just watch the video have some fun sit back and enjoy and at the start you can see my stats you could see the Bundesliga table and currently our team is not doing too bad we are in a good position but there's still a long way until we end up in the Europa League spots at the end of the season. We have a couple of games in front of us. The first one is against Wolfsburg. And Wolfsburg is in the second spot in the league. So they will have a really strong team playing against us. And on top of that, they have Kruse, who has over 25 goals scored in this season, which is just insane. Kruse is not really that type of striker, but it seems like he might be glitched or something because I really don't understand. The man with the 11 on his back, Max Kruse, playing in the striking position for Wolfsburg with uh, Draxler, Schürrle and Vierinha right behind him. He will be the guy that our defense has to take care of, but we are already in the 71st minute. Nothing happened in this match. Honestly, boys, nothing happened in it. I got injured. And that's basically it. I did not expect this match to be this bad, but I got injured, I had to be subbed off, and then I had to just watch my team play against Wolfsburg. Here I'm going out, and this could potentially be the season-ending injury for me. But let's forget about that for a second, because here is Mauro Zarate, one-on-one -on -one against the keeper. He could get the winner for Mainz in this position. But he doesn't do so. A very big opportunity wasted by Zarate who should have scored and who should have gotten us the three points. But at the end of the match, I got injured. We only got a draw against Wolfsburg, which is not too bad. Don't get me wrong. But this match was really boring. Nothing really happened in it. A 6.2 rating for myself. Currently, I'm 74 rated. Hopefully, we can upgrade that throughout this episode and get to a 75 or something. But boys, this time I had to also do the passing in-game because uh, the file that I had for for the passing training in the real life training has sadly been corrupted so I had to just go ahead and use this one which I just played I got an A rating which is amazing but now let's get into the real life training part first up the dribbling part we do get a B which is resulting in a medium training achieved and then the next one is going to be the shooting the shooting has been a very bad part in my career so far so let's see what I can do I was going for that B rating, but I just couldn't get it. It's a C, and it is an easy training for our player. Moving on, the last one is volleys. Normally in this drill, I tend to do quite well, so let's see what we can do this time. It's me on the ball. Let's start it off with the keep uppies, and then uh, taking that shot. I was going for a B, but I did hit the post of that small target, and that is going to be a C rating. Now, the last one is the assisted free kicks, as always, but I've been getting very used to this, so I should be able to get myself a good rating, and here we are taking that last shot. It says nice work at first, but then the bonus score is being added, and we do get ourselves another hard training. Yes, boys, this is very important. So we have two hard trainings, one medium, and two easy trainings for our player. After that uh, draw against Wolfsburg, now Mainz is in a good position to be able to get to the Europa League spots. But I've been trying to come off the loan list. I really tried to get rid of that. Because obviously in the next season, we are trying to get to another team. Mainz is a good team, don't get me wrong. But uh, we have bigger goals in our career. And we are hoping to get to another big club after this season. Now, in order to be able to achieve something like that and get a good name for 
myself in the international footballing world, I had to get mines into a good position and this attack was just insane! I could have scored a really nice goal after amazing build up play from mines but sadly it didn't work out so we had to move on and see what happens right now. I got the reactions plus two but here's mines on the next attack. It is a decent passing play once again, it lands at my feet outside of the penalty area, it's a finesse shot! Which I can do, I mean I have like 69 curve or something like that because I've been training the assisted free kicks all the time and that has, that has helped me for my finesse shots but I could have done better in that position but in the end I'm quite happy with being able to get a 6.5 rating out of a game where I did not have an assist or a goal. That is something I rarely do get, whenever I do not get a goal or an assist I always get something like below 6 or even like 6.1 or 6.2 at max so I was happy with that one but moving on you can see I am now a 75 rated player after that match I've been going up to a 75 rating that is amazing plus 8 in one season and you can see my stats on the right hand side once again my finishing and my shot power has to improve but it gets better by time so far I have gotten plus 10 on my shooting and hopefully we can improve that even more but now boys the time has come for the big rivalry in Hessen and it is Eintracht Frankfurt versus Mainz and we were playing in an away match so losing against uh, Frankfurt is not an option we have to get past them in order to uh, just basically have the bragging rights in this big rivalry and also to be able to get to that Europa League spot which is really important for our season 16th minute it's an attack started by me but there's a cross coming inside for one of our players at the far post and that is a good header which hits the crossbar I believe but sadly we just don't score yet and now it's Eintracht on the attack with Castaño Castaño is in the penalty area looking for his teammate in the middle it is Stendera scoring a really amazing goal for his team it's 1-0 for Eintracht and this was not acceptable we had to move forward and try and score that is not a good result for Mainz but here in the 45th minute you can see them have another chance right before half time and now we are in the second half of the match Gianni with a pass over to Fry Fry over to Zarate Zarate with the biggest chance of this match so far for our club but it doesn't work out really nice shot from him uh, and uh, sadly in the 67th minute I had to be subbed off yes assistant coaches uh, the uh, coach had to sub me off because my stamina was really low acceleration plus one interceptions plus one and stamina plus one good stuff for my my player and here I'm training myself up once again it is still a 75 rating for myself but I am still improving and hopefully after the season is done we'll have some time to get to that 76 rating with some proper training but here's the deal assistant coaches now we have 40 points we are five points away from VfB Stuttgart who are in that sixth spot which would get them into the Europa League but this is not acceptable. I had to win games now. Too many draws and also a loss against Eintracht have made it really tough for us to get to that Europa League spot and basically achieve something in this season. We have started in the relegation zone and now we are moving up to the top. That would be amazing. But here's the first attack in the 18th minute. It is Zarate on the ball. I believe he passed it over to me. I am making my run into the penalty area. It's a big chance to score. It's my first goal in this episode and it is probably the most important one to score we had to get a victory against uh, Hamburg right now and this is just a perfect start into this match 19th minute this defender is trying to hold on to me but he's just not able to do so my pace was just too too much for him to handle now Fry is getting into the penalty area passes it to me I could have scored my second goal but instead of doing so I did hit the post and then the shot after that was just not good enough to beat the keeper now we are starting another attack it is Bengtsson on the ball he's looking for myself I do get the ball outside of the penalty area I tried to pass it but my teammate gets to it after the defender has lost the ball what a strike that was it just reminded me of 
that goal that I conceded in the Liverpool career mode against Hull City I believe Marcio Azevedo scored an amazing goal against me but this one was just much much better because it was scored for my team 49th minute though it's Hamburg trying to get back into this match but hopefully will not give them too many opportunities to do so and it is the 57th minute as we do have another attack started by myself I'm getting through the defense with them skills ball roll to the left ball roll to the right getting past the defenders and scoring 3-0 the best goal I've scored in this season hands down I was not expecting that at all amazing goal and also I finally realized that the ball roll is very effective in the my player it doesn't matter on which difficulty you are playing on if you have the right timing as I did right here twice it's just amazing it works out and after that goal has been scored I had to go off and it was a substitution for myself. Yunus Mali joined in, I believe, but 3-0 in the 69th minute and I just decided to sim the rest of the match because I knew our team would be winning and they did so. 3-0 is the scoreline at the end. 8.5 rating for myself. Two goals scored. Probably one of my best matches in this season so far but that second goal was just insane. I'm really happy that I was able to score that one and straight after that match we are getting into the training once again. I'm trying to get to that 76 rating before the season ends. Here are my objectives and I've really basically achieved all of them for these four matches against Wolfsburg, Köln, Eintracht and Hamburg and here you can see my objectives for the upcoming two matches which is just an insane fixture. We have Stuttgart who are in that sixth spot in the league and we are right below them but Hertha is right in between us so I have a game against Stuttgart in that sixth spot and I also have a game against Hertha in that seventh spot. So basically, I have the chance to beat both of those teams and not have to rely on any other team to beat someone else for us. And this is the first match. Stuttgart against Mainz. They are playing at home. It's a rainy day at Stuttgart and their fans are ready. They are waiting and they want their team to succeed once again in order to hold on to that sixth spot in the Europa League. That would be perfect for them. Martin Hanik and Daniel Ginczek playing in a striking position for them. They also do have have two cams so it seems like they're playing very offensive but it is the fifth minute as I get the ball right outside of the penalty area and it's a goal straight away which I was not expecting at that corner kick I wanted to run inside and get to the header but decided to stay outside got the ball and took that shot straight through three players I believe that is just the perfect start into this match and now we just had to hold on to it or maybe score a second one in order to get past Stuttgart for sure but that was the 45th minute and now we are in the second half Gianni once again on the ball they're trying to get to me but I do have the strength passing it over to my teammate it is a pass to Clemens Clemens over to me and I hit the post. I had it on my feet. It was my chance, which I wasted. That could have taken us closer to those Europa League spots. And now it's another chance. It is a big one. Gianni getting a good pass. Passing it to his teammate. Niederlechner with a shot. And it's a goal. It's 2-0 for Mainz against Stuttgart. And this is just insane. Niederlechner is just saying, Psst, mate. We are winning this match. So, it looks good. Mainz is looking good. In the 17th minute though, I am being subbed off. It seems like my coach wants me to have full stamina for the match against Hertha. Because if they do win their next match, or this one that they are playing at the same time, they will be in that 6th spot. We will not overtake them. And it would be an amazing last game in the Bundesliga. And here is my team trying some fancy stuff like why didn't he shoot at that first position he had and instead of doing so he passed it back to his teammates who then hit the post but we have gotten the victory and now we are even closer to get to that Europa League spot this is just an amazing journey for our team one goal one assist for myself 8.2 rating still 75 rated though hopefully we'll get to that one as fast as possible man I want to be 76 rated before the season ends as I said before and I really really put a lot of emphasis into the training this episode but here you can see Bayern Munich will definitely
definitely be the champions and this is the last match Mainz against Hertha Hertha is only one point ahead of us so if we do win this match against them we will be in that Europa League spot and we will be playing international football in the next season but obviously by saying we I mean Mainz because I actually want to leave the team I want to take on some new tasks and I want to see what the world can offer for me but here is the biggest match of the season I was not expecting our team to get into this position towards the end of this season because we started off in this episode playing really bad got two draws and one loss and it could have been much easier if we could have gotten a win but now it's down to the last game I've scored three goals in the last three matches it seems like I am in form when it counts and this is our starting lineup Zarate once again in that striking position I'm right behind him and behind me we have Jairo and Clemens and this is Hertha's starting lineup. They have some decent players in there, like Salomon Kalu in that striking position. So we have to take care of him and try to defend properly. It's the 28th minute as I pass it over to my teammate Clements. Clements loses the ball, but he does get it back. I am on that right wing. I am getting past my defender with the ball roll once again. It's working wonders for me in this episode. Passing it over into the middle, Zarate. With a Rabona? No. Oh no, he didn't. Mauro Zarate is doing the Rabona and he's scoring 1-0 in the 30th minute. And that is just an insane goal to score in the most important match of the season. Take a look at the replay. The Rabona shot goes through the legs of the defender and then it goes in. No chance for the goalkeeper and Zarate is making up for all those chances he has missed in this season. It's just insane and Karius without him in our goal this season we wouldn't have done shit like honestly he is just amazing and at the end of the season he might be the goalkeeper of the season because of his performances and here you can see once again Hertha is now pressing they are trying to get that equalizer and if they do so we are out of it there's no chance for us to come back into it and if they do score it will be a very tough task to get into the Europa League spot once again currently if we take a look at the live league table we would be in that sixth spot but still Hatta is attacking and it's just not stopping this is the first time we are in the second half I'm passing it over to my teammate 48th minute I'm making a run it's a header for myself but I'm heading it straight into the keeper and that was a very big opportunity to make sure that we are going into the Europa League but there's another big chance for our team and that is missed as well hopefully we will not be asking for these chances at the end of the match and crying out loud for not scoring them. Here's Mainz defending really bad. Holy shit, how did he not score that? That should have been a definite goal for Hertha, but they didn't do so. And this is another attack for our team. Zarate could have passed it over to the right. Would have been much easier, but I'm waiting for that guy to make a run. He gets it. It's an amazing cross. And he does not score it or at least get it on target mate that was a really bad shot and in the 83rd minute the uh, coach decided to sub me off which is in my opinion not really the right decision to make I don't care how much stamina I have it would have been very important for our team to keep me in the squad Benatira this is insane how does he not take a shot why does he try to pass it and why does he mess up in the last minute of the match to pass it to his teammate to get that equalizer but here it is we have won it and we are moving on into the Europa League what a season this has been for Mainz and especially for myself at first we were doing really well in the first save then I have overwritten that save then I had to redo everything the same way I did got to the same same rating and then did everything once again starting from the relegation spot and now we are in a really good position at the end of the league getting into the Europa League spots that is just insane honestly and as I said the goalkeeper of the tournament is Karius if you guys ever need a goalkeeper who has decent potential and is a great goalkeeper already at the start of the career mode go ahead and get him because he is just insane and right now guys as you know there will be a lot of weeks uh, for me 
to train so I'm showing you only those which impact my rating and you can see right here after a couple of weeks of training I've finally gone up to that 76 rating I'm getting better and better and my finishing and my shot power are getting closer to that 70 rating which would be very important for myself but Bayern Munich are the champions this season no wonder about that one but we did make it into the Europa League spots and Hertha and Stuttgart have now a uh, drop down below us. It's just insane. I honestly was not expecting this at all after the first three matches in this season. And now you can see me in the top scoring list. I am in that 14th spot with nine goals in the Bundesliga. An amazing season for myself. And also in the assists, I have made it into the top 10. Actually, I'm in that seventh spot, which is also the number on my back. So I'm happy with that one. 76 rated plus nine overall in this season. I have to say it was an incredible season honestly assistant coaches thank you so much for the support on this series and drop a like if you really really enjoy it let me know in the comments down below now which league you want me to go to because that is the question of this episode I am moving over to a new squad I am requesting to be set onto the transfer list and you can see I achieved all my uh, season objectives and I really think that I've been doing really well this season the coach should find Finally take me off the loan list at first because after that I can uh, be asking for that transfer list spot so let's see he does say yes you are now off the loan list and now I can ask for that transfer list spot and here's the question assistant coaches I I really don't want to go to the BPL because I have my Liverpool career mode in that uh, league so I'm not going to England I just want to try out some other leagues or I can stick to Germany and go to a bigger club like maybe, I don't know, Borussia Dortmund, not Bayern Munich because I don't think they will ask for myself, but uh, it could be Borussia Dortmund, it could be Bayer Leverkusen, it could be Schalke, a team like that and uh, maybe I can stick to the Bundesliga but there will be a poll in the description down below let me know and uh, the one that has the most uh, votes on it that will probably be the league that I will move to you will have the option between Spain Italy and Germany I believe and here you can see he does put me onto the transfer list in the next season so assistant coaches thank you so much for watching and also look forward to that video later on today at 5 p.m. UK time it will be an amazing and funny video with my cousin on FIFA. Have a nice day and peace. Wow.